Now, this is the best thing that ever happened to Farming Simulator, probably. Probably the best, one of two best. And I'm gonna show you first look into the Straw Harvest DLC. Ta-da! Well, actually, it's only part of the equipment here, it's everywhere. But uh, let me show you what we're talking about. I have three holes here, we're gonna go individually and check them all out. But first things first, let's go into the listing of what is covered here. Right, so, let's go... The best thing would be, all oh, this is also... <coughs> could be called a Crone DLC, because Crone is majority of the equipment that we have here. So I'm gonna just quickly show you what we are dealing with in Crone section. So it starts with the baler. This is Kornpima V180XC baler. That's a round baler, small or big. You'll see it actually has four different bale sizes. Uh, some of them are huge. <laughs> Probably the biggest bales the, they are in the game. Then we have big pack, one, uh, 1219 HDP2XC. It has a trick, it has a superpower on its own. Well, actually, superpower is here. So this is a bale collect. Bale collect is a thing that we're gonna be using in this game in Let's Plays. This is um, kind of like bale sorter. Uh, where you can sort three bales at the same space and it releases it at the same time so when you're picking them up it's quite easy and uh, comfortable. Pramos. Pramos is the star of this uh, straw harvest item. Now what is Pramos? Pramos is... Uh, he collects grass or straw mixes it with both um, molasses and water and creates small pellets. Small pellets are then unloaded here in the bucket and uh, you have to unload them. You're gonna have to unload in quite a lot of it because this capacity is like seven, no, 9700 and uh, it fills in quite fast because you're still mixing it with water and molasses. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, you can, of course, do it automatically as well if you purchase it. 10,000 euros is gonna cost you, but uh, this DLC, this mod, this add-on is amazing. Everything you do, you can do manually as well as automatically. Automatically is gonna cost you a little bit more, but that's fair. I think it's extremely fair. And this mod is even better than for FS17. I already checked a little bit. I only played with it for like half an hour or so. And uh, still didn't do any proper artwork. I was just checking out the models. But let's continue on. We have Bale Shredder. Does the uh, add-on that goes on to this uh, crown. And then it can be uh, opened and uh, you can stack your bales here and they go one by one in there and they're being shredded. That's perfect for our winter work. In winter you can stack on your bales, put them in the sh uh, storage and then shred them one by one. Uh, and create pallets. Now, uh, continuing on, we have a bale twine pallet. Uh, what's a bale twine? That's a wire basically that uh, is used to create square bales. You can manually uh, load this into your balers if you decide so. You know, it's much much cheaper. Baler is much much cheaper without the twine. So for example this baler costs 320,000. It's a lot. But costs whole 10,000 less if you want to do it manually. Also this bale uh, baler has both bale shoot and bale collect. Bale collect is of course for the attachment in the back. In the back. If you don't want the attachment you can you can use it just as a bale shoot and it uh, just unloads the bales. Um, like I said also this one uses the, the, the last thing we have here is the bale netting. Bale net uh, you have uh, 15 uh, bale nets, 3 rows 5, th 3 times 5, and uh, there's only specific uh, number of bales that you can actually bale with this, and it also depends on the size of the bale. The bigger the bale is, the less of them you can make, so it's quite, quite, quite realistic. Now, some other things that don't belong here <coughs> would be uh, the pellet cell point. This is where you can... Um, uh, the pallet cell point, not pellet, pallet cell point, where you can sell your straw and hay pellets. I would assume that straw pellets are for uh, straw and the hay are for, for burning and these hay are for animal feed. 
so you can feed your animals that was in fs17 we'll check if we can do it this time around as well so this is it and oh we have a couple of more we have uh, animal pens no it's not here we have under sheds we have three types of sheds we have empty sheds without anything we have a pellet uh, shed that has a crane and compartments for pellets and also some free space and then you have pellet hole uh, palletizer now this is the expensive one here you can store both pellets and you have a mechanism that creates pellets we're gonna um, with pellet pallets of pellets pellets of pallets <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you all of that and uh, of course you have the uh, here you have the molasses pellet molasses is the Byproduct of sugar production, which uh, is just a thick, gooey stuff. It's uh, so so flammable and so so edible. So um, mix it like it, it's sticky. It's sticky and combined with your with um, animal food. In this case, grass or straw, gra or grass or hay, you can actually make that. Now let's quickly check all these uh, things that we have here. First, let's check the empty one. I already prepared some trailers with uh, grass and straw bales but I'm gonna show you the empty one looks really really nice actually I was the previously you didn't in FS17 you didn't have this one you only had this one with the crane so crane can be operated like this you enter this area you have a nice view of the crane and then you have one button two buttons up and down left and right um, so you can do this this and which one uh, here we go and then you can uh, close it open close and you can you can uh, move for example in this case you would be moving the pellets that you create on the field and bring with your premise and load them here and then you can use it to load your trucks or whatever you need or even buckets of your uh, from um, telehandlers and then you can transport them to another hole. So this is like additional storage. And the star of the show is this machine here. So like previously, we have this crane, but I already put this tractor in a working position where we can unload the bales here that are then shredded and then pellets go in here and they're automatically unloaded into this machine. So this machine slowly doses them here that slowly packs them into the bags and then on the pellets. We'll see all of the, all of all about that in a second now. Right, this is the basics of this add-on that gives you additional straw, um, well, consumption opportunity. Uh, something else that you can do with, do with straw. Now let's. <clears throat> because this is gonna be a long video. I don't want to make it too long. Uh, I have some equipment prepared here They go all the way around the corner there and we have some here uh, To show you everything that we have here now What's wrong with you guy dude? lady Okay uh, Let's uh, turn you around. I just let them uh, Harvest our field here. I'm not sure if we're gonna have because this doesn't seem like it's properly fertilized field. I'm just gonna try to um, create a little bit more straw just in case we need it. And uh, right, so let's get started. The this is not really a star. Well, bale or star definitely. So uh, we need to unfold it. Oh, uh, we can't start it because we don't have bale netting. So let's do this. You have to get out, and then I believe is it uh, F1? Let's see. Uh, open bail door Z. Here we go. And uh, let's see here. So this is where you put the twine. No, not the twine. This is for the netting. Netting is used to grab the straw or wrap it around. Uh, let's see. In FS17 version of this game, you were not. It, it's it was not possible for us to just. Uh, park next to the, 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 the baler and then uh, load it automatically but you had to kind of put it quite close with the telehandler as well which was quite quite realistic but I'm sure that this it's, it's probably gonna be a little bit easier now but uh, let's try it a little bit sharp turn here and uh, let's try oops my bad sorry about the realism in this case I'm not using my steering wheel I'm only using 
<clears throat> the keyboard and mouse. So let's see if we can load it. And here we go. It loaded automatically three nets, which can create. Uh, it's gonna tell us. Depends on the size of the bales. Let me see. I think we can do additional. No, that's the the square one can open the sides and then have additional um, netting in there. For now, we only have three. And look at this. These details on these, the palettes, the everything. It's like it's not square box. It actually has a soul. It has a texture. The colors are amazing. And, and as you use it slightly, it disappears. And it was like that in FS17 as well. So it was high, high quality. I was really, really happy about this one money well spent right so if we go to f1 again we can choose the size of the bales with o letter so we have uh first things first we have the smallest one would be 110 these are uh let's make a couple of those so uh close the bale box first that would be z and then we go with b to start the baler and let's start bailing the oh i think i should lower the pickup <clears throat> and let's see the amount of bales we can pick up with this one. Uh, sorry, the amount of straw. This is the smallest one, mind you, and I think it's a three and a half thousand, but don't quote me on that. Uh, now I'm more and more sure that it is three and a half thousand. Uh, it's a small bale. Now, uh, it's not as small as you might think that you can carry it with your hands. No, it's still a round bale and it's still quite heavy I would assume so in real life but I'm gonna show you how it looks right now so here we go and 100 percent three and a half thousand so let's uh, unload the baler with Y and let's see the bale you see it's quite cute and small and please don't move please don't go away don't oh, stand stand here stand there okay we might have lost this one already okay you're on your own Right, <clears throat> now let's go with uh, up a bigger size. Bigger size are normal bales, so I'm gonna skip that one, just so we can save some times. So 155 would be, if I'm correct, one, six, no, it's not, six and a half thousand would be the biggest ones, and the uh, 155 would be, don't tell me, don't tell me, um, I would say five and a half thousand. I think it's five and a half thousand, but uh, but let's bail it and check it. So we are. No, it's more. It's uh... oh no, actually it's five thousand. I was wrong. It's probably gonna be five thousand. You're gonna see in a second. Um, unfortunately, I chose the part of the field that is not so well uh, strawed. It's a word. Try correcting this. So I haven't played Farming Simulator without a steering wheel this much for a while. Okay, so we have a bigger bale. <coughs> if I'm, if my memory is correct, um, oxygen. Uh, this is the, um, the Oxygen David map, and uh, he has a really neat um, uh, feature of the. Um, let's unload it. Yes, so this would be a little bit bigger bigger bale. You can see that it looks weird. Uh, that is because it's different. It's not the same uh, as the other ones. Uh, I think the normal size looks exactly like the normal ones. Or does it? I have to remember that. Because they have a twine and they have a kind of signature, their own custom-made look. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I need F1. And can we change the size to uh, biggest one? 1.8 meters. This is the bale size. This is. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that this was one, uh, six and a half thousand liter bale, and it's gonna take us a while just to go around and and pick up enough uh, straw for this one. So <clears throat> this is this is kind of the star of the show where you can choose. Now this is a problematic as well. So these extra small bales, I don't see a big. 
there, there's not a lot of positive stuff about it. Why? Because uh, you can't really... I don't see why. where would you use it. The biggest ones? Definitely, yes. They're good for storage, they're good for uh, bale shredder, and they might be... They are, they, they are good for food mixing, and uh, bale shredders are, especially the, these ones in-game, I think they would easily accept the biggest bales as well. In this case, this one. And like I said, it should be six and a half thousand. <coughs> Voila! Okay, ta-da! So let's see if we can make uh, this bale go all the way there, and then we're gonna unload the last one there as well. Now I'm kinda hoping that it's just gonna go on its own, <coughs> that we won't have to do anything drastic, but... Uh, oh yeah, this is drastic. I don't like this. Okay, I'm pretty sure that uh, if we continue doing stuff like this, we're just gonna cause problems. Okay, so uh, this obviously looks like it's a little bit bigger bale, but let's compare the biggest and the smallest. I won't be comparing them in this video. This is just a first look <coughs> in how this uh, add-on looks like. So uh, let's go and park it next to this one. And just see comparison. Oh no, that bale is so... <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> a baby bale and mother bale. <laughs> anyway, check it out. So this is three and a half thousand, six and a half thousand. I mean, technically this one is... Some, uh, it could be like... It's more compact in the way that you can probably place more of those than those. But look, uh, one big downside of these bales, they wouldn't be accepted in uh, automatic bale loader because they're usually connected to sizing, uh, size of the bales, so uh, I wouldn't be um, using any auto loaders with uh, anything except 4000 liter bales, so bear in mind that. Uh, I spilled some of the barley here, but um, that's not important. Now let's continue on to the... Uh, this is a star of the show as well. Uh, I don't want to steal any thunder from him, but um, uh, uh, it, like I said, it has awesome features. So let me show you some of them. So we go F1 and I'm pretty sure that is uh, Z. Now look at this, guys, look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. Let's see if we can reload them on the on the distance here. I'm pretty sure we have to be a little bit closer. I think this one was the, the one that we had to be all the way close to the baler in order to load them. And here we go. <laughs> it's it's not even... I, I'm pretty sure that it's not even full all the way. So let's check it. You see all this twine? <laughs> it has twine to bail for years to come. I think, I'm pretty sure that there should be more here. Let me see if we have any left on the trailer. Oh, okay, where's the trailer? No, it's gone. So this is all loaded up and uh, ready to go. So let's, let's go. Let's go and uh, let's pack this up and let me show you what we're talking about here. So you are ready and loaded and we need to unfold it. That would be X. Here we go. The rear is connecting, so it's kind of uh, uh, solidly fixed to the back of the baler. So if we go and kick it off, and let's make a couple of bales. Let me show you what we're talking about here. Uh, I will have to obviously lower the pickup. Did I lower it? No, I didn't. Wait. Okay, and now, oh yeah, it, it's wrong, selected, here we go. And now let's do a pickup of these bales. Let's, let's do a couple of bales and let me show you how it looks like. And here we go. Okay. Uh, I think we chose well with this <laughs> John Deere because this baler requires over 300 horsepower to operate and um, it's it's well worth it, it's well worth it. It's a little bit on the low side, let me increase the volume so you can hear it a bit better. So we would go... Here we go. Hopefully it's a little bit better, but uh, let me do a little bit more. 
Okay, here we go. So let's. Well, you probably won't even hear all that well because of the music, but um, still, it's 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 quite quite nice. I'm I'm really really happy with this, and like I said several times in the comments on social media, that I would be willing to pay for this one easily, just because I appreciate the work and effort that uh, Airsoft or um, uh, Creative Mesh. Uh, put into this. This is amazing. This is next to Kuhn DLC, in my eyes, the best thing that happened to Farming Simulator. Uh, I wish the Giants would put these kind of mods and add-ons uh, with every DLC and not some of them that definitely are not so... They know which ones they are. They could have done stuff like this before if they w were willing to, but luckily we have companies like uh, creative mesh who will do stuff like this and I'm really really happy that you know they did this <laughs> I was having so much fun in FS uh, 17 with this on the west coast uh, the, the winter was logging and then this was filling in the cold winter days perfectly um, uh, later down the line they uh, fixed some of the issues that were existing in the in the first first add-on and um, f first release and uh, it, it's just it's just amazing I'm just so happy that, uh, that they created this so you see what happens here so they take the bale and it's automatically aligned on the side and we're gonna have two more bales now I'm gonna unload them here and I'm gonna show you how we can play with them a little bit better so I'm not gonna take too much time to to harvest this uh, straw here, even though it's a straw harvest, and let's turn this off. Let's press F1 and uh, unload bale. One here and the last one in the middle. Right, and then we're gonna choose uh, here and um, let's see. Bale unload mode. That would be. Here we go. Oh, sorry, it automatically unloaded them. So there you go, they are aligned like this, so we have three bales next to each other, and they are quite easy to grab, let me show you what I think. So here we have the, fr uh, yes, so I do apologize, I missed this one, so I'm going to show you one more thing here, uh, that I didn't present to you, baling technology, it has several of these guys here, so this is for normal tractors and uh, telehandler I believe, let me see here, no it's for telehandlers here, this is for the the big, uh, the, the big guys here and we have this one for tractors, this is, <coughs> this is absolutely my favorite, uh, no these are, these are both for tractors, and I'm pretty sure that they should be for telehandlers as well. I think they're multifunctional, but don't don't quote me on that one. So I grabbed this one for for the big guy for the wheel loaders, just so I can show you how it looks like. I'm gonna press X here just to spread it out a bit, and let me show you what I mean by this. This can grab up to five bales. Uh, maybe you can squeeze in six if uh, if you know what you're doing, but I would go for five maximum. Now for loading, unfortunately, nothing aligns five bales at the same time, so you're gonna have to either be good with um, navigation around the field with your baler and tractor, or you're gonna have to just use it for, well, unloading uh, well, you can load 3x3, three three, but for unloading, so you can see here, oh, by the way, this is such a good machine, you see these little handles here, these fish hook things, they tell the grab if there's a bale there or not, let me show you what I think, so for example, on the ends, we don't have a bale grab there, so the hooks on the end will not catch on, they're gonna stay up, let me show you. So if we go like this and align our souls with, uh, with, uh, with this guy here, and then which, let me see which one is, grab bells is a Y. <coughs> look what I, uh, look what's happening here. So these hooks on the end are not grabbed into the bales because there's no bale here. So this little sensor here tells them that there's a bale here. Let me let me demonstrate that one more time. Let me see how do we release them uh, with Z. So if I move back and I try to go, let's say, 
a little bit on the side here. So let's say I only need to grab these three here. Okay, be aligned nicely. Okay, of course. I do this, I do this, and then press Y again. So now these hooks are down, but the hooks on, the, on this side, they're not. Unfortunately, it registered this bale because it's half in there and half not. So if we had perfectly aligned bales and two more here, they would be caught as well. The second to last with these hooks and this last one would be with these hooks. And then you can do with this whatever you want. In this case, I'm not going to demonstrate how you can unload these bales on a trailer because you would have a trailer here and you would lift them like this, uh, F1, so it doesn't bother us. And hopefully just lay them nicely and gently and then just press Z. <coughs> and bam, they're down. Anyway, uh, so this is a bail related issue. You have this front loader for three bales, not for five, for both telehandler and tractors. And also you have the smallest one, which is the best, absolutely the best gra bail grab handler, whatever you want to call it, is this a V grab. It has detachable spikes, which you can detach them with one press of a button. And also they have a similar hooks like this. They can grab up to three or four, I believe, high, which is amazing. That, that's, that's absolute, this is going to be standard in any of my uh, Let's Plays. Nothing more, nothing less. Anyway, let's continue on. Now, as a last field test, we're gonna go and test uh, the actual the actual Pramos. So first things first, with Pramos you have um, let's see here, you have two things you need to fill in. One of them is the water. Uh, it requires water. It doesn't have a huge capacity for it, but also uh, still requires it. I'm pretty sure it has to be on the other side. But let's try here just just so I can be. The, just so I can look silly by, by hitting the, the next tractor next to me several times. So I'm gonna try to do it on the other side. Well, let me just see. I think they come with some in there. So let's see. Nope. We need to refill molasses first. I'm pretty sure water is the same, that you need to refill water and molasses. But uh, it doesn't appear to be accepting water. But we have molasses here, so we're gonna refill molasses. Here we go. Molasses is filled, filling in. Uh, and yes, of course, we need to refill water as well. Uh, oh yeah, I know what the problem is because water is all the way down here. So I'm probably filling it on the wrong side. So let's try this. Oops. No, it looks like I'm gonna have to do this is this is the thing that I was saying it's kind of quite realistic this is not a bug and I really appreciate this um, it you actually have to go quite close to it and where the exit like pipes for the water bowser are it, it has to be like really nicely adjusted so I'm pretty sure something like this should work so I'm just gonna go and test it refill no not yet. Oh, I think it's actually a little bit towards the back. Nope. Okay, doesn't like it. Let's try the other side. By the way, guys, this is a first look. <laughs> I haven't tested this. Uh, this Jaskin here should have water in there. Oh, boy. That's realism on this channel. This is how we roll. Okay, let's see. Uh, lower pickup? No, that wouldn't be it. Do we have anything that we can pipe out, turn on pellet harvester? B. Yes, we still require water. It could be possible that I cannot reload water here. Let me check, see in a sec. Yes, I believe it doesn't like the water bowser, so it's better to fill it in from the actual water source than water bowser. Or if you know, if you make it with a water bowser, that's fine as well. But here we go, it's full 500 liters of water and 200 liters of molasses, see on the field. Right, here we go. Okay, so we started creating pellets, we have 22 kilos of pellets. And just a little straw that we had in the beginning there. So let's press number three. And I have to tell you, this is quite an energy intensive machine. It's not like you're just going to be able to run it with anything. It is quite energy intensive. You can see that it's slowly filling up, but I, I have to say that there's still, this is much to be desired. I wish there was a bit better animation here with more pellets. Okay. 
It could be that our intake is intermittent, that it, that's why it's not creating the whole visual. Before it had much better visual effects, but um, let's see when we start grinding bales. Maybe it's gonna be uh, maybe maybe it's gonna be better or more realistic or nicer or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so we created 700 liters of these bad boys. Let's go for a couple of more passes, and uh, then I'm gonna do a couple of more passes off screen and uh, meet you when we fill in this bad boy. Right, so here we are. Uh, we're back at farm. I uh, back at the industrial estate. Uh, I disconnected this uh, shredder from the Pramos to show you how to attach it. So even if you come closer to this, look at this. You press Q, the whole side of Pramos is disassembled, and it's ready to go. I changed the tractor for. I, I don't. I don't think uh, this. Pramos likes the tracked tractor um, because they are kind of nervous, they turn faster. But anyway, I, I prefer uh, non tracked tractors for working with this Pramos. I had the issue in FS17 as well, but let's uh, probably just how they react. Now, just a heads up do not put O, don't press O, or don't extract, don't uh, extend the. Um, Okay, we already started, so let's unload this one. Don't extend the the arm, the 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 what I call it, the pipe out until. Let's see if we can align it a bit better because this is going to be slightly crucial. <coughs> so what's happening here now? So we're gonna do this, and uh, yeah, just let it be. And uh, you have to keep the tractor running. And also you have to press X and then this table is gonna extend. Now this is mesmerizing and cool, look at this. So it's already assembled five of them. <coughs> Let's look at this for a moment. So you have five of them, so two of them first. And then three of them are gonna be turned on the side. So you see how they look here? So this is two. And the third one, graphics is so much better now in this part. And then it's pushed here, all the way. And look, they're zigzagged. They're not like all the same. This machine actually does them like properly because you would do this because of the well structural integrity of the um, of the pallet. Anyway, <laughs> this is what it does. It already has some. Do we have information how much it has? No, we don't. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was supposed to unload this into the compartment here and then use the crane, but it doesn't matter. It, it's quite simple. Uh, it's uh, similar to using front loader, so you guys can do it. Anyway, uh, let's um, continue on. So these sheds, I wanted to keep them as... Oh, oh, I need to... Uh, I need to get the gra bail grab. See you in a sec. Right, so I brought a couple of machines that are gonna help us in this case, and I'm gonna definitely demonstrate this bad boy. Look at this, look at this. Just let me check which bu button it is. Uh, X, detach spikes. So this is, you can see spikes there in the back, in the middle. You see how they're moving, they're on each side there. So this is absolutely amazing. So you can use this with spikes like we're gonna do just now, or you can use them on the same bales like when they're lying on the on the ground and if you want to pick them up. So it's your choice. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. I love it. Now, uh, I'm just gonna go and check how many uh, pallets did we make here and what's the... Uh, okay, so we have in the left hand corner fill level straw pallets is 13%. And I'm pretty sure that we can make 11 high these guys so I'm just gonna go and give them one more or maybe even two well, let's go with one uh, so actually, actually let's see how many of them we can grab because uh, we really can't go for the top one but uh, looks like we can go for top three barely okay maybe maybe not okay and let's do an angled one and then try just to grab bales with a Y. And let's see <laughs> if we're grabbing anything here. Okay, okay, I don't think we're... Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. <laughs> this is quite small tractor, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, but we are kind of, it, it's still holding on all of them, so I'm gonna just put them down here on the ground. I'm gonna press, was it Y? 
Uh, no, sorry, it's for the drop bales, it's Z Zulu Z. So let's do this one. And um, three would be optimal amount that you can grab with this one, but it's up to your discretion. If you if you put the bale spikes a little bit higher, you can do even more than this. But let let's do let's do one first. So if you need to grab one, you don't even have to grab it. You ju you can just oh sorry about that. You can just sp uh, impale it and that's it. And let's let's test it now. So we have a tractor here that's working. Yes, I can hear it. So oops, my bad. Uh, I'm not well versed with a keyboard and mouse, I usually use side panel, probably should have done it in this demonstration, but here we go. Oops. Okay, something doesn't like it here. Okay, <coughs> let's see if this is working. Uh, yeah, it doesn't appear that I put it... There we go, there we go. So let's see what, what this does. Oh, how high are we here? One, two, three, four, I would say eight. And we have a couple of them waiting on additional straw. So let's see here. Um, how was it? I think from one bale we'd get 1,200 and this is 1,250. From one bale, when it's compressed, we get 1,200 and 50 liters of this. I'm not sure. I think th this this was a math or 1,700. I'm not sure, but uh, you don't get 4,000 from this bale. That is 4,000 liters of straw. You don't get 4,000 liters of this. You get much less because this is cutting it in small pieces. And look at this. This is all uh, a spinning and uh, adjusting bales, so they would go straight into their position. And they're going more or less correctly. And you're gonna see now, in, in FS17 it was kind of shrinking bail graphically, let's see what it's gonna do now. Oh, just don't tell me that it's not gonna go in. It should do. Come on, you know you want it. Yeah, looks like it's pushing it slowly uh, towards the middle, but uh, a little bit too slow. So let's go and grab, um, let's go and, uh, while this is doing its own thing, let's go and grab a couple of grass bales, because I want to make a pallet of those grass bales as well, and then we're going to test the sale of those pallets. Now bear in mind there are two types of uh, pallets, and uh, you can actually mix them, but um, like you can have green bags, you're gonna have green bags and you're gonna have yellow bags. Yellow bags are of course straw, green ba bags are gonna be hay. So here we go, this is working. Oh, I should have attached it and it's why quickly. There we go, I attached it now. Oops, <laughs> the weight is not really that helpful and this is too heavy. So let's go with Z and just go with this. And let's go all the way up and just actually let's grab two. You know what? There was a trick that you can do with this, uh, with these bales, is that you can stack them up a few high, and then and there we go. I can see it's working already. So let's check how it's doing. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you everything how it's done. We're gonna be waiting now for these bales, and the machine is working again. Hallelujah! <laughs> uh, so, oh wow, you're kidding me! It already filled all of this? Oh boy. Okay, uh, change of plan. <laughs> we have too many straw bales, straw pellets. So let's unload some of them. Let's go and take the telehandler. Let me unload them and uh, see you in a sec. If there was ever a need for a little skid steer, this mod, this mm, DLC will definitely, uh, let's call it a DLC, will definitely <laughs> motivate you to have it because this is really tight area here and uh, it's it's just so good for this for this little machine and we are more or less aligned so we can try this let's see how it likes it perfect and it tells you down there that these are straw pellets uh, I'm gonna make a couple of hay ones as well so I'm gonna show you how what's the difference and how it looks now there's a little bit of a downside I think it's a downside let's try it if it's a downside or not because if you don't remove the first one the machine won't continue that was the issue in the 17 it's not a bug it's not anything drastically bad but um, it's it's a good thing to know 
Now let's see how much can we get from this. So if we... I want to push it a little bit forward here so we don't have to wait for long for it to... Perfect. Let's see if it's gonna take two of them at the same time. One thing I can tell you, this machine is slow. <laughs> Uh, now, previously, they would, like, kind of accept the lower bale into the machine, shredder, and it's still not perfectly aligned, and uh, then the that that is accepted would be would just disappear, and the top one would straight away fall, fall through it, but technically you can uh, pile up several of them. Now, looks like they implemented this machine here, which is perfect, because then it should hopefully align them perfectly. Uh, well, when, when it drops down, and it should um, uh, it should uh, continue shredding. I wanted to see how it shreds. Oh, okay, it's gonna take a few more seconds. But by that time, we're gonna try to remove this pallet here and. Uh, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, oops. Okay, we can do all that weird stuff that uh, construction workers do with this machine, obviously. Okay, so we have 2,000, 2,000 liters. Okay. Looks like this one is a little bit heavier, it's pulling us forward. Okay. Let's just leave it here and let's get back to, to check. Alright, okay, so obviously this is not gonna go so simply. So it's stuck up there, but we are filling it in. Now I'm gonna show you a trick here. Look at these bad boys here now. They change color to green. Okay. So you wanna metal now or something? Oh yeah, 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 look. Uh, first one here, it's green. So they already started filling in the green ones. And like I told you, it's not gonna continue. Uh, Okay, looks like it's gonna fight me with this one. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to take care of that with a um, telehandler. Let me just go here and remove this one because, like I said in the last time, in the last one, uh, it's not gonna push this all the way to the end. You actually have to remove this first one for. When you remove this first one, then the machine continues working because it the, it cannot push this one, uh, push the first pallet once it's been filled. Looks like this issue hasn't been resolved, but it's not really an issue, it's just remove that one first. So let's go, and not tell a handler, but a tractor. We're gonna try to resolve this one. Okay, lift it. Oh, feisty, aren't we? Move. Okay. Okay, we have it removed anyway, so that's fine. Let's load one more uh, hay bale and see. Um, hope I, I'm pretty sure that we have enough, but I'm going to put another hay bale in there. Well, actually, we only put one hay bale, so I think at least one more should be mandatory. But um, yeah, looks from whatever we had, I didn't check the proper, the properly the quantity we had. 2,000 liters of these pallets, I think we had. Maybe even more than, because they filled um, over 2,000 liters of, of hay ones. So what I'm talking about here, I'm gonna show you now. Let's we'll just try to align this one as best as we can. Here you go, even though it's angled, I think it's gonna correct itself. But let me show you with this. So, we had around 4,000 liters, I believe, of these pellets from the field. So, they did pack 4,000 pellets. Um, but, it looks like it's more than 4,000 here. Now, what, do they, what are they counting under this pellet? I'm not really sure, because this is halfway filled. You see, these guys are all green I believe yes and it, it, they have a sign here wheat and I'm pretty sure that these guys are gonna have sign grass 
yes you see here a different sign it doesn't have a like wheat sign now it's empty we need to process this bale and we're gonna wait for this bale to be processed and then we're gonna continue on actually you know what we can do some one more thing here under the miscellaneous we can choose this cell point and place it right here so we can see how much money we can get from these pellets okay it's getting in it's going in now like i said this is a slow process but uh, it's interesting because uh, it takes away that boring time there okay pelletizer stopped there you go let's see the whole um so you can do this like on the field you can do it the same way as with the straw you can create them directly there and then unload them in one of these compartments three compartments or you can directly actually there's a two compartments and then you have a like storage for pellets in the end or or something like that whatever you feel like and uh, you can go directly on the fields and load those with lorries and then unload them here or you can do something like um, like here you bring the bales here and then process them in this facility but anyway this is how it works and uh, we can see here um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for it to finish but because these were green when they were being loaded but looks like it decides what's the price of the whole pallet and let me show you this cell point cell point is also interesting uh, because cell point shows you the prices of the bags so this is a 20 20 kilo bag and you can see here the difference you have this one with the grass and this one with uh, straw so this one with the grass or hay it has a different icon here and so if you calculate here that each one of those straw ones cost three let's say three euros or three currency and then you have one two three four five six seven eight high was it eight or ten uh, can we see it here kinda maybe one two three four five I would say maybe eight could be eight eight high uh, so that means eight times five that's 40 40 times uh, sorry is it 40 yeah it would be around 40 and times three uh, that would be 120 if I'm correct so let's start let's sell one of those and let's see if we are correct of course I think it might be dependent on difficulty but uh, the most important thing for you to know is that the hay ones are more expensive so if you wow okay this is i'm really surprised that these are so heavy these are only 2000 liters so let's check now we have a 784 2784 if we sell this one 2000 okay so we got around 3000 so we got around 3000 euros three 2500 euros or so so for this one 3000 and now yeah 3200 and now let's go for the full one here so these are the green ones okay are you not gonna wrap it okay let's see this one is not wrapped okay it doesn't allow us to continue on okay let's let's give it a bail and I'll see you back in a second yes like I previously said it's kind of shrinking the whole bale in like any previous FS 17 it's not really grinding it piece by piece but you can see that the whole texture is kind of shrinking slowly rather than than being pushed in so yeah but it's of course it's it's acceptable there I, I think still worth the free uh, free amount of money that it comes with uh, so yeah we continued um, uh, producing uh, hay pellets and we're gonna continue we're gonna do the last little thing here uh, here we go hay pellets the whole pellet is just hay this one is also a bit heavy so we're gonna try to do our best so we have uh, 5354 and when we sell it we got uh, it doesn't show us 5,000 so we got uh, 2,800 I believe it's around 2,800 let's see all together how much we got do we have in finances here just one second and we have finances 
how much money did we earn? 5,248 from harvest income. Uh, how much was the first one? We're gonna have to do the testing in order to find out how, uh, how well it went. But anyway, more or less, uh, this is how it works. So, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. You know how it works. Uh, of course, don't forget to play with the crane. It's quite nice, but it can be frustrating from time to time. Um, yeah, second or first best thing that ever happened to Farming Simulator. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a comment, nasty one, in the comment section. Uh, subscribe. Mm, notification bell. Yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye-bye.